Hi, thank you for joining me again at Mike Dunn Film Reviews. I am Mike Dunn, and uh, tonight uh, I'm going to be talking about Chronicle, a film I've literally just got back from watching. Um, it's the new uh, found footage documentary style film about uh, teenagers who discover that they've got telekinetic abilities, and it's uh, what the. Well, going to talk about it just for a bit, tell you what I think. Um, basically, uh, it centers on a young troubled teenager, um, Andrew, who starts documenting his life after his, start, his father starts to beat him up at home and he wants to document it just in case anything happens. Um, he starts like, recording everything and it's quite obvious that he's like the loner at school who just gets bored about everything. It starts really depressing you. And just getting you down, and you feel like, oh god, is he going to be one of these ones? Oh, uh, uh, woe is me. Um, he often interacts with his cousin Matt and uh, Matt's best friend Steve, who's like the popular guy at school. Um, during one uh, party, high school party, they find a crashed asteroid or UFO or something. It's never really explained. And they discover that this asteroid, whatever, gives them like telekinetic abilities and can start like moving things with the minds and um, start to fly and just the powers get uh, more powerful and yeah. And one of them starts going off in a different direction, the other two try and use it for good and the other one uses it for bad and it starts being like a superhero, supervillain sort of thing. It's really good, really interesting. Um, <laughs> it's good to see something fresh and original coming out of the sci fi genre, despite the fact that it's been done before. It's basically an origin story on superheroes, but it's done in an interesting and more realistic point of view. <clears throat> um, the actors perform really well. You feel like they've actually got a camaraderie and a friendship between them, um, especially uh, the young. Andrew and Stephen, the popular guy, and their friendship grows, and Andrew starts becoming more popular at school. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's really it's a really good film. Uh, the action sequences are really good. The effects are it starts off a bit shaky and a bit like mm, is this going to be all right? But by the end of it, when they're actually starting to fly and stuff, it it looks really impressive. And it's not for the people. You get motion sickness though. My mom can't stand motion sickness. It's like Avatar nearly made a vomit. So this one's not going to be for it. It's mostly like the Cloverfield style of like handheld things. Although they do make innovative ways of dealing with that, seeing as they've got telekinetic abilities, they're able to like use the camera and like hold it up and using their minds and stuff. So it's able to float around and showing both of them. It's by the fact that oh, like they're just using their minds to control and stuff, and that's really well done. <clears throat> it gives you gives the ability to see things that you wouldn't usually see in handheld things. So it gives it gives both options. It's really well done. And um, certainly in Seattle is really good because you get to see landmarks and stuff and makes it feel more real and more accessible. And yeah, it, it's it plods along sometimes. There are some slow bits and then it just like really increases and you're and like, oh my god, yeah. But um yeah, it's not perfect. There are some storylines that don't really go places. Like some characters who don't really, who aren't really needed, and it's just to give an extra point of view shot from someone else, and to give more three dimensional to the main three kids. But you just need the main three kids, really. It's not, it's not about anyone else. Um, it's really worth it. Again, if you're not a fan of motion, um, like camera motion, don't go and see it. It's not for you. But if you're in the mood for a nice uh, sci-fi, like not really action, but it's a nice sci-fi flick for those out there who love the science fiction. And yeah, My, uh, up there with the best of this year so far. There we go. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll give you another one soon. Yeah. See you later.